works and I am doing a last minute surprise live for you guys. I just was in Desiree's channel. She was doing a live au jewelry auction over in our community district called Lilyworks Jewels and Lots. So if you're not, not already there, go ahead and make sure you're in our Lilyworks Jewels and Lots. And then at the end of her live auction, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do my live YouTube video. I have a bunch of jewelry. We still haven't finished the huge box. <laughs> I think we have two more videos left of that giant box. So I'm like, we need to get it done. So I'm going to turn this around for you guys. There we go. Okay, so <laughs> here we go. Yes, so this is going to be one. And then the next video after this is going to be all the earrings that I tried sorting out. I don't think I got all of them, but I was just like, you know what? I just need to get the earrings all out because that by itself is going to take forever to um, sort through. So yay, let's get started. Thank you everyone for the thumbs up already. Let me just put you guys down. And I got, I got to see a lot of you guys yesterday in my jewelry auction, which happened um, yesterday, Tuesday, I think it was seven o'clock. I'm just opening my, what is this? moment um sparkling botanical <laughs> um drink not alcoholic or anything but it's to what is it it's like relaxing thing sparkling adaptogens and botanicals so yay we're gonna relax we're gonna un un what am i doing un no i'm just dumping i'm doing a jewelry dump you guys <laughs> And yeah, I'm going to be selling this stuff to you guys at a really low cost on our district. So, um, yay. All right, if you are coming over from Desiree's um, live sale, make sure you say hi. It was just in, oh, I love those. It's just in there. Uh, let me know who's all in the chat. Yay! Oh my gosh, Jen, you are like Miss Faithful. What is that um, old faithful <laughs> um, fountain? Oh, oh, look at that. Um, you are like on it right away every time I'm doing anything live. So this is what we're going to have to do, Jen. I was just in Desiree's live sale and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get Jen to do a jewelry live sale soon, and then I'm going to hype her up and <laughs> share your stuff. Um, so yeah, you're you're on my list. <laughs> Watch the old thing. No, <laughs> not 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 that. That is not what I meant. Uh, all right, let me check the chat. Okay, you just got home from a softball game. Got it. All right, anybody else who is here? Oh my God, look at this. All these guys. <laughs> Anyone else is here? Say hello in the chat. All right, this is not even all of it. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, I love some of these things. Okay, so you guys, here we go. We have my, yes. My fancy Florentine yes box. We have, oh, Michelle's here. She came over from Desiree's. Yay. Um, then we, So my yes, my maybe, and my no. And then these two, you guys know, hey, Brandy. Um, you guys know I'm just going to be selling these directly on District. These are going to be for sale, my maybe and my no, or my craft lot, um, on, or I'm sorry, for $14.99 right after this so whoever gets it first gets it um this is gorgeous and i'm gonna try to fix it <laughs> right here because it looks like this jump ring got a little funky but let me just show you guys right off the bat if you guys are all coming in now this is the um huge <laughs> lot that we started from ebay 
and I still have two more videos for this. So it looks like we have a Jasper drop and then look at those Goldstone beads. Those are lovely. And there we go. I fixed it. <laughs> so we're going to put this into the maybe for you guys. Let's see. We have a U.S. pin. We see these often. I'll just put that into craft. We have what in the world? Okay. So we have, this feels like a seed pod or some kind of wood that is not native to Wisconsin. Oh, I feel like someone had told me what these particularly were. Um, let me know if you guys know, but it's just a long boho thing. I'm actually going to put this into craft lot so someone can craft with these beads. All right. So what are we on? Wednesday? Today is Wednesday. Yay. My husband right now is taking the kids to go get his car vacuumed which is like literally a miracle. <laughs> My husband does not initiate cleaning anything ever. So, and like I had done back to back, taking the kids to the zoo, then um, taking them to Chick-fil-A, then taking them to the park, then taking them to gymnastics. <laughs> oh, I'm losing my mind. All right, this looks like it could be a unisex um, tank track necklace. Let's see if it's marked at all. No, it's not. So that is a keyword to use is the tank track look. Someone was saying that my jewelry gets blurry because of the jewelry in back. So I'm going to try moving it over this time. Um, But my unisex necklaces have been selling really well, actually. Um, especially this tank track look. So if you guys don't know, I believe it was Cartier back like really long time ago, like around 1930s, came up with the tank track link chain and it became really popular. And now that's kind of what it's called. So I'm going to put that one in the maybe for you guys. I see something. Oh, so gorgeous. Look at this like melon. AB crystal bead right out. <laughs> I'm hoping that this one's not broken. So I see orange. Ooh, it is vintage. Yes, it is. We see the hook. Ooh, we see AB crystals by the clasp. Okay. Oh, it's not broken, I don't think. <gasps> Look at this, you guys. Yes, I love, love, love getting some vintage that is not broken. Let's get my little bust out. Vintage that is not broken. That is that is a big score in these lots. So, all right. So there we go. Oh my gosh. Look at how gorgeous. Oh, look at how beautiful. And then this big melon bead right here. So, so beautiful. That is a definite yes. Going in my Florentine. Okay, I want to pull this one out because it's so darling. Okay, we have the Matryoshka doll pendant. Little hand-painted. Not signed, but super sweet. I just do not like the chain. <laughs> Lori says, so excited to see you live with a jewelry haul. I got to dig for my jewelry at the antique mall today. And your advice kept me go and your advice kept going through my mind. Awesome. Yes, that orange one is beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to, I actually want to give this to my daughter. We collect Matryoshka dolls um, upstairs in their bedrooms. It's like a super fun little thing that we look out for at the antique store. Okay, we have a trunk up elephant for good luck. Um let's see. Yeah. And rhinestones. I think all the rhinestones are there. Amy says, I love that vintage necklace with the orange beads. It's perfect for summer. Yeah. So maybe some of these pieces. So what I've been doing is what if I'm putting things up on eBay, I usually do like about like a 30% off dis, um, discount if I'm putting it up on district just because that is our community. So... <laughs> Um, 
Yay. So this is going to go in the maybe, not marked, but trunk up for luck. All the rhinestones are there. Okay. Let's see. I have Desiree texting me right now. <laughs> I don't want to ignore her, but we have jewelry to get to. So yeah, Desiree just had her live. She does her live selling auction um, once a week on Wednesdays. So you guys are looking, I know Michelle, you're, you're going <laughs> to start doing your live selling pretty soon. Um, and so, yeah, just go ahead and watch that YouTube video that I created. It, it's not that difficult, but if you are like, if you're worried about, you know, I, I don't know if I can do live selling. I'm so nervous. It's fine. Like we all are. <laughs> and you can say, you can talk yourself through it. Like, okay, let me put this item up on stage because that is totally what I do. So we all are here to support you guys and we totally all understand. And honestly, it's super fun. So I, I, I honestly like come upstairs to my husband after my live sales and I'm like pumped. I'm like ready to tell him all the things, the fox brooch that happened last night, just everything. All right, let's get this one out. Some people say that I talk too much, but I'm sorry. I cannot just sit here with silence and go through jewelry. That is not me. And I'm actually got glad that God has blessed me to be able to talk so much to be honest okay I think we're almost there okay we have it does not look vintage we have a lobster claw clasp and then all these faux pearls it looks like it's probably um, multi-strand and probably different lengths if I'm guessing but I'm going to leave that up to whoever gets the maybe box. You are going to find that out. You can resell it. <laughs> there you go. And then this is not multi-strand. It is just super duper long. Oh my goodness. Okay. It looks like copper. It looks like copper and green. So there's that. And then we have glass. I think glass stations. My hands are just really cold. We have... I think that's a cat eye. It's actually faceted cat eye, but this looks like around over 44 inches, like a really long one. Man, this is this. I would totally sell this, but I'm going to put this in the maybe for somebody else. We have the dolphin rhinestone, which is cute. I don't think it's marked. I'm going to put that in craft though. Um, the chain is not super high quality. Okay. Ooh, this one feels nice. This one feels nice. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll try that one again later. We have, please be marked. Let's see. Are you marked? Are you marked? <laughs> we have a spring ring clasp and this just dirt or is it coming off oh boo yeah it's it's damaged at the at the end mm, I'm gonna put this in craft because I honestly think that you could like put a pendant on here and still it would still look nice but not necessarily resellable so I'm gonna put it over there okay oh I recognize this I've sold this one before Lori says, you don't talk too much. I enjoy hearing about your life and what, and, and you give tons of help, helpful information. What a boring video it would be if you don't keep the conversation going. Yeah. Someone commented, less talk, more action. And I'm like, uh, what, like, what exactly, <laughs> what exactly do you want me to do? All right, we know that this, well, I, I should say I know. I know that this is a Leah Sophia. I've sold this one before. Oh, is this a little wonky here? Oh, it's a little wonky. Look at this one right here. I thought maybe it's like an abstract, but you looks like it needs to be bent back or something. But, I mean, the beads are really pretty. So, let's see if it's marked. I think it should be. Yeah, right here. Leah Sophia. 
I'm going to put this in craft. Maybe someone can fix that. And then as I'm talking, I see another one that says Leah Sophia on the back. But this one actually, oh, looks like it's missing a thing. It is missing a thing. I'm going to like set this aside in case this one popped off because that has happened in these lots coming from eBay. Um, but usually Leah Sophia necklaces for me are pretty like thin and more modern looking. This one's kind of J. Crew looking. So I'm going to just put that aside. All right. I keep looking at these absolutely incredible big they look like hand blown glass beads and i'm so sad that someone put them on this like wire because these just feel like such high quality and i have so i have sold um hand hand blown glass earrings before and it turned i think that they were murano Michelle says, right? Please talk a lot. Yeah. Yeah. That is just, I mean, you have to be who you are. If you're putting yourself on YouTube regularly, I mean, being somebody else would just like drain the life out of you. So these are absolutely insane. I love them so much, but guess what, you guys? I'm going to put this in craft because I know someone could do something amazing with these glass balls and take it off of this thing. Yes, it is wearable. I think they're trying to have like some kind of illusion thing going on, but these need to be turned into something absolutely outrageous and fantastic, like earrings and a big giant <laughs> glass ring or something like that. So someone is going to really love that in their craft lot. <sighs> yeah, exactly. Lori says, be you. And um, I think I've mentioned this to you guys, but since starting a second channel, there's a lot of people who um, are trying to give me a lot of like constructive criticism feedback but it's basically changing who I am and I'm like nope <laughs> like I, I much rather have less subscribers and feel like myself this is beautiful this is um green dyed shell and then what makes it beautiful is the little dangles oh I like the little dangles they like accent it really nicely there's a little moon glow beads right here uh, not marked, so I'm going to put this in the maybe, but I have a feeling someone's really going to love that one. Okay. Oh, this one's broken. Broken. Someone can glue it. It's like an inlaid wood bangle craft. All right. We have another. Ooh, this one's actually carved with leaves on it, though. Look at that. And then it kind of looks like sea glass beads. I am not even sure what to make of this. We're going to put that in the maybe. I see more wood. And, oh, again, this one has like the inlaid wood barrel clasp. Let's undo the barrel. And I really like these inlaid bits. Um, Becky says, I'm new to you. It was your new channel that I saw first. Someone was so rude <laughs> in a comment. I couldn't believe it. Not okay. Thanks for being you. Thank you so much, Becky. I mean, honestly, uh, oh gosh, the, the other channel is getting some, some people. <laughs> some of the comments that I just can't, like, I'm usually not the kind of person to delete comments, but there's some that I just can't even respond to. So I'm just like, I'm not even going to allow it to be a negative culture here where people are just going to thumbs up a bunch, you know, like a really rude comment. So I sometimes I delete them and I really like this blonde wood. <laughs> We're going to put that in the maybe. There we go. Stretchy. It has cool beads, but put that in craft. Oh, we have a carved. Hmm. All right, someone said, I saw that post and took everything I had to refrain from say saying it. you comment too much. <laughs> That's so funny. Ah, uh, let's see, let's see. 
I'm wondering if this is like amber. It's probably not. So it looks like wood, butterfly. I'm going to put that in craft. I'm not, I'm not even sure about that one. Okay. There's just a lot of tangled necklaces. So not, not my like favorite thing. I love finding brooches, but okay. So we have a sparkly tassel. And we're just going to put that into craft. Okay. Um, Becky said, I responded to them. You did too. You were so nice in your response. I'm super close to you geographically. So that makes watching your videos even more fun. Heartland, Wisconsin. Awesome. <laughs> and then Michelle said, you need a few mods so they can hit the delete button for you. Yes. Michelle, would you like to be a mod? <laughs> All right. We have this thing. And it needs to be twisted. It looks like it's broken. Okay, craft. Oh, we have a purple seed bead wire. These are comfortable. These are really comfortable. Love those. Okay, let's put that in maybe. All right, let's find some good things. I need to do like a little shake or something. What is this? We have a buffalo and enamel pin. What are you? It says Martin Khan, um, Bronx 54, New York. And then it says five, no, 6K. Um, I think I will sell that. I have a feeling that this has something to do maybe with I don't actually, now that I'm thinking about it, but it looks like Bronx, New York, 54. So maybe like a fire station, like fire station, sorry, you guys, fire station 54 or something. But I, but sometimes pins like that really surprise me. So that's going into the yes. Okay. Stretch craft. Um, we have an earring. I'm putting all the earrings into the other lot over here. You guys should see it. It's a whole other bin of just earrings that I pulled out of here just so that they wouldn't be all tangled in here. Ooh, I see a glass. Something. Okay. When it's like a lot of necklaces like that, this is when people start cutting. <laughs> oh, this is why I like earrings and brooches as well. Oh man, there's like a torque in here that's just not fun. Okay. We have... These are all acrylic. Acrylic, put those in the craft. Stretch, craft big oh here's a cuff are you marked oh it is okay what are you marked oh it is marked this is another let's see <laughs> can you guys see oh my gosh it's not even focusing it says leah sophia guys right there i'm gonna put that in the maybe for you guys and then another wood maybe we have faux pearl cuff maybe <gasps> we have something old yay okay <laughs> um amy says i had a tangled necklace lot that took me five days to completely untangle oh man <laughs> all right look at you guys we have something old i'm pretty excited <gasps> what is it <laughs> i think it's one of those sash buckles and Let's see how it's made. Yeah, this just hinges in there. It's not a brooch. And someone had it maybe $4. This is going to be a definite yes for me. This is like turn of the century sash buckle. These little end bits are pretty sharp. And this is pretty cool. Kind of love it. That is awesome. Yay, we have another thing. <laughs> And Desiree is here. Desiree, I literally was like, Desiree is texting me, but I can't leave right now. That's funny. All right. Craft. We have 
the bezel set green. That is a good keyword, bezel set. Pointy on one side, smooth on the other, and that'll be in the maybe. Yay. Okay. Let's see. So, yeah, I will definitely text you soon, Desiree, because something, you had texted me something, something similar happened to me last night, but I had to wait. So that's all I'm going to say. Um, <laughs> am I speaking in code? These are all plastic, but very, very long. I'll put this in craft. Someone can craft with those. I really want to get this one out. This one feels so nice. Okay. Is this a Monet? Are you, are you? Let's see. How was Archie's um, podcast? That's where Desiree just was. So this is not a Monet, but Monet does make pieces like this. They don't sell for a ton, but just because they're Monet, they, you know, they sell. And yeah, so I think if you have the Monet book, and I have it linked below in my videos, Honestly, it's like literally my favorite jewelry book, I think, most of the time. Because I, I really love seeing how the decades of um, different, like, jewelry styles progress. Um, so that is super fun. All right, I'm going to put this in craft. And then, you guys, remember we had these, um, like, two weeks ago or a week ago? And there was, like, green and blue. And now we have orange and red and I put them in craft they're super gorgeous porcelain painted like look at how beautiful these are they're just on this like I don't know this cord like we have been finding some really beautiful beads but someone <laughs> some crafters or some jewelry makers decide to like not follow through with the quality okay so this is a bracelet, and it might be a beggar's bracelet. These are um, gemstones, so like jasper and agate. I don't remember ex the exact history of the beggar's bracelet, but I believe it's around 1960s. Uh, at least this is what it's in the style of. There's beggar's necklaces. Uh, we're going to put that in the... Um, I'm going to put that in the maybe... Can we get this out yet? Oh, we have seed bead galore here. Okay. Well, let's get out these. These are absolutely fantastic. And I'm so surprised because look at the thermoset moon glow loveliness happening. You guys can see it in the... Um, camera like look at that and I'm so surprised it's modern but look at how bobbly and beautiful this is <gasps> I love it I'm so confused though because this one looks like it should be the center but it's kind of off to the side hmm interesting I'm in love with that beautiful flash you know what I'm gonna do because I love it so much and I know I have a lot of thermoset lovers in the audience I'm probably going to list it at like $7 on District. That's what I'm going to do. $7 is like, no, $7.99, sorry. $7.99 is my lowest that I usually list things at. So that's where it, what it's going to be at. And it's I'm not going to put it anywhere else. <laughs> and it is a real, it's like seafoam green. All right. This one is Lobster Claw Clasp. And... Uh, the beads are a pretty, like, root beer color glass, but it feels a little, like, dingy and stuff. So I'm going to put that in craft for someone to use. I see this big, oh, big chunk. It looks like a citrine. Oh, my gosh. You guys. Oh, last week, Desiree. Okay, so Desiree, like, knows everything about <laughs> gems gemstones and quartz and raw gemstones and she was like telling us all about it during her live and I was like wow um so she probably knows what this is I'm going to see with my presidium if this tests as let's see it would be in the quartz amethyst citrine 
right? So it is, you guys see that right there. So is this a citrine? So there is a hole for a pendant. So someone could make it into a pendant. I don't know what's going on here, but pretty sure this is a like raw citrine. That's pretty cool. We'll put that into the, put that in craft. Someone can make it into a pendant. All right, next. Oh, I hear bells. <laughs> What is this? Is this an anklet? What is going on? Let me know in the chat. What is this? It looks maybe Afghan or something. I don't know what this is. Let me know. What do you guys think? It's brass, bells, and wood. And too small to be a necklace. So maybe you put it around your foot... I know that Native Americans have something called a jingle dress where they have like long shaped bells on their clothing and they like stomp. Um, oh, the eclectic element says, I'm glad I'm able to catch you live. I was going to say an anklet with those jingles. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. So yeah, Native Americans have the jingle dress. So maybe this is like another version of that. We're going to put this in craft. And someone can do something with that. Or maybe they know what that is. Okay. We have a glass bead stretch, I think. I think it's glass bead. Like I said, my hands are so cold, you guys. All right. Anything interesting? Looks like Alex and Ani. Alex and Ani tangled up with a cross. And the cross is vintage with the spring ring clasped. So some of these Alex and Ani bracelets have certain names. This one is like nautical. It says Alex and Ani on the back. All right, we're going to put the whole thing into um, uh, <laughs> maybe. All right, can we release this yet? No. Okay. Um, all right, this is broken, I think. Something's happening. Oh my gosh, yeah. So how would this even be a necklace? I'm so confused. There's no clasp, and it's just like a little pendant. Okay, craft, this is going into garbage. Um... 41 watching. Hit the like button for Lilyworks. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> yes, make sure you are hitting the like button. All right. Let's pull this out. So Hartford, I'm getting, I honestly, my husband, okay. <laughs> You can see how my mind works. My husband has ADHD. So he, we have a torque. I will put this in with my um, chains. My husband has ADHD, but it's like diagnosed. And he can jump from one thing to the next. And it's, real, it, it's really hard. It's just really hard for like... It's definitely noticeable and hard to maneuver sometimes. And yeah, just focusing and... Um, organizing and things like that. But every once in a while, I'm like, I really feel like how I am, like I'm like starting all these things at once. I'm juggling all these things. Like if I, I can't ever sit and watch like a show, I have to be doing something with my hands. And I've always been like that. If I'm like listening to preaching at church, I have to like, I can't just sit there and watch somebody. I always have been like that. So I'm like, do I have some kind of like attention <laughs> deficit? So anyways, Hartford, <laughs> I'm going to put this into craft. It's a lovely um, enamel flower on a chain. Um, That is just, Hartford is just north of Milwaukee area, right? Okay, we have, looks like Mother of Pearl and Wings. This is not, oh, Heartland. Okay, yes. Often confused with Hartford. Heartland is near Pewaukee. And Pewaukee 
right? That's still northwest-ish. Uh, is this the um, medical wing sign or something else? This is definitely vintage. There is some verdigris right there. So, hey, Marsha, welcome in. Marsha, were you just the one in um, Desiree's live? Was that you? Okay, so I'm going to put this in maybe because I have no idea what this is. It could be meaningful to somebody. I'm not sure. Maybe a medical type thing. All right, we have, what is this? That's the Air Force logo. Is it really? Where did it go? This one? All right, someone said that's the Air Force logo. I have a gorgeous sweetheart bracelet with the symbol. Interesting. Okay, so that's going in the maybe. And then um, Becky says right by the awesome Ryan Road, St. Vincent de Paul. Heartland is 25 minutes west of Milwaukee. Okay. Um, all right. So this one says heptosorphs. Oh boy. And it does this go in your button? Heptosorph. I feel like this is something. This is something old and interesting. I love this stuff. All right. So I'm going to say yes. Maybe there's another one, but I'm really curious about it. This is, this is too far gone, I feel like. I'm going to put that in the garbage. All right. Ooh, I love these beads, but I feel like they're stretch. Yep. What is this? Oh, a little enamel violin or cello. It has like, oh, it has like the C clasp. It not, might not be turn of the century C clasp, but it definitely... Definitely is older. Okay, it is marked. B, oh my gosh, someone literally etched it. Maybe it was like some like school girls like award pin or something. And it's marked B, B-E-E, -E, like Beverly or somebody. That is so cool. I love that. That is a yes. That is really cool. All right, we have a starfish pendant. We have this. This is really pretty. And if it was like shined up, because this is so sparkly and beautiful, this really needs to be shined. So I'm going to put this in the maybe. All right, I'm going to dump out more. So the eclectic element said, I just looked it up and it's actually the Air Army Air Corps which may still be the Air Force, someone referred to them as military pilot wings. Oh, look at what I see, you guys. Oh, okay, let's jump. Let's get some, let's get some stuff. <laughs> okay, where did that little, where did that little box go? Oh, this is a fun ring. I'm going to put this in my booth. Rings, like funky retro rings have been selling. Um, where did that box go, you guys? Where did it go? I remembered I wanted to test this for Bakelite and this one for Bakelite. I had that to the side. All right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just lost it. Where in the world? <laughs> hmm. All right, maybe it doesn't want to be found just yet. Oh, this is kind of cool. Look at this wood bangle with these metal pieces on it. Fun boho. Put that in there. Okay. Oh, we have a buckle. Okay. Oh, it's stretch. But it's actually that elastic, like, cord. Um, so buckles are pretty in. This one is a Leah Sophia. So that one I'm going to put in the maybe for whomever wants to do some reselling. Ooh, look at this. This looks like some kind of blue Jasper. It might be like a made in India piece. I don't know if that's like a brass color coming through or not. I don't think it's sterling. I mean, I could test it. 
it's a pretty nice looking piece though that's for sure all right we have this stretch also nice um jen says i like that this one maybe i'll put this one up for 7.99 as well that would be a good another good piece but i want to test it as well stretch this one is lovely this is blingy but modern yeah let me put that in the maybe oh what what in the world what in the world so we have like a crystal in there someone did a whole thing <laughs> Someone made art. Okay, we're going to put that in craft. Oh, here's the box. Here is the box. Oh, this was in the jewelry. Oh my, is that a thumbprint? Is that someone's vintage thumbprint? <laughs> all right, Marcia said, okay, I have to ask how people get lots from eBay with all these, oh my gosh, you guys moments. And I get 20 stretch bracelets and tangled chains. That is so funny. That is so true because most people who sell on eBay are just, you know, they go through stuff like this and then they'll put up a lot like this and be like 50 bucks for, and then they'll say unsearched or untested or whatever, but really they have searched. I um, purchased one lot and it, I paid up for it. So I was like, okay, we're going to, we're going to see how this goes. And, um, and it had a lot of vintage pieces and you guys saw that. And so I bought the designer lot, right? And I paid like $600, but it ended up being like almost like a little bit less than $4 per piece. So I had like the Mar Marcel Boucher. I had, um, I had the, the Nettie Rosenstein. I had so many different things, Crown Trifari, just all the things. And so then I was like, yes, this is great. And so I saw that they had sold out all the other lots. So then I contacted them and they basically said, oh, I'll make some lots for you if you want to buy out the rest of the estate. So these next, what, seven boxes, I literally have seven, like six or seven more boxes, big, giant, giant boxes um, that I purchased that's from the estate. Anyways, let's look at this. That looks like a thumbprint. That's pretty cool. And I don't see any marks, but this is a micro, well, this is just a mosaic. It would be even smaller. A lot of times it's sterling with the micro mosaic, but these are just little tiny tiles, Italian little box. This is the cutest thing. I absolutely adore this. I want to keep it. Um, <laughs> if you guys watch Sandra the Funky Pickle, she always says, I love it so much I want to marry it. <laughs> Uh, so I am in love with this. Yay. That one is a yes. Oh, okay. We have, oh, this is kind of cool. Look at this. Look at this. It has the tiniest little, I don't know. Are these coral or just, faux? no, they're faux. But faux little like enamel. Sorry, you guys. Enamel and faux coral. This is a vintage bib we have the um spring ring let's put it on our little bust right here there we go look at that this is an older piece for sure little dainty little dangles i'm gonna sell that that is pretty cool i like that vintage boho okay another pin that i see pretty often um Proud to be Irish. And then we have, oh, yes. Oh, oh, good thing I kept these. Where did I put them? Where did I put them? I have little matches to these guys somewhere. Um, do you guys remember the little two irises that I found? So this might go with that little set of like little flowers so a little scatter pin set if you find two or more brooches that go together and that would be like could be considered a scatter pin set and people wore them together like one on each side or you can stagger them we have seed bead choker we have oh this is like um Calf hair, horse hair, 
This is worn. It does have a fold over clasp. I don't know. I don't know if this is vintage. I don't think so. Uh, I don't know. This seems too worn to me. Like, I'll put that in craft. Maybe someone wants it. Oh, someone had a solo. So N-Y-S-S-M-A solo bail. Okay, little award. Put that in maybe. Oh, this goes with that other part that was broken. Ooh, look at this encrusted bangle. I've sold ones like this before. I kind of want to put it in the booth. It definitely stands out. Someone would really love this. So I'm going to put that in my little yes pile. Okay. Oh, another earring. Maybe I have the match to this one. So, okay. And this is acrylic. And it has a lobster claw, very long. But then I craft. This one is a stretch. I'm just putting like all the stretches into the craft lot. So you guys can <laughs> choose what you want to do with that. Okay. Ooh. These are pretty Jasper chips. Barrel clasp, necklace. Put that in the maybe. And then what in the world is this? Do you guys remember? I think I got out of like this lot that Pinocchio charm bracelet. Who bought it? Are you guys are you in the chat? <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I pulled this out and I sold it yesterday. Um, and I think it came from like this lot. So this is little charms. So, oh, here we go. Um, Corian says, Marsha, me too. So I'm going to put that in craft. So that was one of the reasons why when I started the Lily Works Jewels and Lots, I requested that when people do post their lots, that they're make that you make sure that you clearly see the pictures and that you're accurate, accurately describing it. Because there are people who do want you know, craft lots. Like there are so many crafters out there. And now Joanne Fabrics is going out of business. And, you know, even just to buy one strand of beads is like a lot. So, I mean, there are a lot of crafters out there. And like, look at this bead here. That's gorgeous glass bead. Put that in craft. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. They look like whistles, but they're not. <laughs> they're all like strung together. I don't know. Okay, craft. So, yay. Okay. These are really pretty beads for crafting. Um, so the eclectic elements that I'm a crafter and 100% confirm. I'm always looking for crafting lots, especially specific colors. That is good to know. I know that, I'm trying to think of who it is. Someone... I'm like, I'm not remembering exactly who it is, but there's someone in our group who always makes bead soup and she makes um, specific colors and she always is like selling those. Okay. So that's really good to know. Um, this is lovely. This is vintage and carved mother of pearl and totally hand carved. Like, look at how... <laughs> not perfect that this is but I'm in love with it I love this so much that one is a yes yay all right pretty soon I'm kind of going to be over the tangles and I definitely want to test these for doesn't this look like cherry bakelite I'm pretty excited to test that all right this actually is pretty cool enamel um zebra is that what that is Enamels. Oh, and there's rhinestones on the main. Well, that's pretty cool. I don't see a maker's mark, but this is just really cool. Oh, look at how neat this is. Yeah, this is a statement. This is a yes. This is something really awesome. I love that. Okay. Um, I think we saw this last time, maybe or no. But this is missing rhinestones. Someone can repair this. It has the C-clasp. Again, this one is 
closer to like Edwardian, Victorian, older. Um, and then Corin, let me know if I'm saying your name right. Corin, uh, vintage online is 20 years or older. And then antique is 100 years or older. And I believe, well, in my mind, so this is going into craft <laughs> so someone can repair it. In my mind, they have it 20 years or older because once st things are getting to be around 20 years, it becomes nostalgic for people that grew up with certain things. And so for me, um, if I'm, if I see like, you know, those, those like pull fairies that like, I forget what they're called, but they would like wind up and they'd fly everywhere, sky dancers or something. And I think those are from the 90s. Those would be like really nostalgic and would pull at my heartstrings and would feel, it would feel vintage to me. Even though for a lot of people, they would be like, that is absolutely not vintage. <laughs> but that's kind of how that works. So, all right, this is actually really pretty, very shiny. Hmm, this is really, really pretty. <laughs> the sky dancers traumatized many a kid. That's funny. All right, this one is so full, you guys. Oh, oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, again, it has those, like, seeds. This is so fun. I love, I love this. All right, we're going to put that in. Yes. But if you were to ask my antique booth owner, <laughs> I think she would say, like, I don't know, like, 50 years for, for vintage. Yeah, I don't think she agreed. Her name's Maya. You can go check her out at the Wooden Chair Antiques in Kenosha. And that's where I have my ginormous booth. Okay. Um, this does not look marked, but I probably will sell this. I've been doing really well. That might be, you know, just a CZ or maybe nothing, but it's really pretty. This kind of looks like a paper clip chain. Oh, it's it's together. Okay, so it's it was new at one time. We'll put that in the maybe. It's trendy, new. Oh, this is pretty. This little pendant. Marcia says, I contacted one seller on eBay and told him what I'm looking for, and I'm hopeful he can give me a good price for good quality items. Yeah, so I I also run into a lot of people at thrift stores and there was one lady this is really pretty verse um virgin Cita de la oh my gosh de la Ma macarena <laughs> cueta me oh my gosh I, would, I don't know what i'm saying hopefully i'm not saying anything bad and then there's something on the back hmm this might be something important and I don't know. We'll put that in the maybe and I'll put this in the craft. Okay. We have, is this, is this a belt? Is this a belt? I love chain belts. Are you? Okay. So we have this big clasp. No, I think it's a necklace. Okay. Put that in the maybe. All right. So what I think I'm going to do Oh, I just hiccuped you guys. I'm so sorry as I was laughing. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to probably like, ooh, look at this. This looks like it actually has coral. I don't, I think, mm, I don't think these are turquoise. I don't see any. Well, let's see. There's something going on here. Hmm. Well, it's a barrel clasp. This might be something pretty awesome. So I, I will sell that. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do shortly is I'm just going to like split this up into like a couple more lots and you guys can like have like a surprise, whatever, whatever. Surprise dig. I maybe I'll try getting out the earrings because I know I want to find matches to earrings, but I'm about ready. I'm, I'm almost there, you guys. <laughs> with this tangle um and i do want to test that for bakelite this is a really pretty oh so pretty 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 gunmetal and like a peachy color 
This one is a New York and Company right there. But this one's really pretty. It's in good condition. All right, I'm going to put this in one of the lots um, because these are like overflowing. <laughs> these are overflowing. And yeah. Ooh, look at this. Look at this enamel shield. It has like three dimensional things going on. All right, let's see. This one says N.S. Meyer, Inc., New York. I think I want to sell that one. That one looks pretty cool. We have a cufflink. We have like a um, turquoise chip ring. What does it say in there? It says 8-8 eight, eight or something. I don't know. I don't think it's sterling, but... We'll see. All right. Oh, and look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. All right. Let's test for Bakelite. I'm really, really curious. I don't know if this one is. This one just looks kind of like a swirl bangle. But when I see like vintage looking uh, plastic or lucite looking bangles, um, where did I put my Simichrome? <laughs> Oh, not there. Hmm, where did it go? All right, did the chat freeze? Let me know if you got, oh, here we go. The red one absolutely does look like Bakelite to you. It does to me too. Um, where did I put it? I feel like I just had it. And I keep it in one spot. Hmm. <laughs> this is what happens. So I have literally got another desk, you guys. <laughs> like another desk from Ikea. Just for like my antiques and collectibles portion. Because I was like, okay, I have my jewelry stuff. And now all the antiques and collectibles stuff is like overtaking everything where could it have gone it's usually right next to the q-tips all right you guys want to come with me to look <laughs> it's usually right in here so I have my q-tips let me know if you guys see it Here, rubber bands. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I am not seeing it. All right, you guys, we're going to have to um, maybe test it. Here it could be. We're going to have to test it when I do the earrings, but let me show you the earrings real quick, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, next video, we have. Uh-oh. Some are falling out. Oh, look at this. Oh my word. This just like kind of popped out of somewhere. All right, so we have all these earrings. Right? And we're going to do we're going to do the matching fun hunt thing for all these earrings uh, for the next live that I'm going to do. And then we'll also test those bangles. Um but isn't this gorgeous? What is this? This is definitely really old. <laughs> um, probably like 19 teens, 1920s. Okay. It does have the zero degree. All right. I have my Presidium on jewelry. So that's how professional I am right now. Okay. It's past glass. It's in the garnet tourmaline highlight. You guys, what is this? <laughs> so, um, the eclectic element says it look. It looks like carnelian. This one right here. This one looks like carnelian. It didn't. So I think carnelian goes up to the quartz amethyst citrine. I can try retesting it. Sometimes bigger stones, you guys, bigger stones can test a little wonky. Because 
they are bigger. So we will see. Uh, Jen also thinks carnelian. All right, so this is what I'm going to do tonight. Ooh, look at this big, massive. Oh, this is so pretty. Look. No. Do you guys see this in there? Wait, wait, wait. Can you guys? Oh, right there. You see this band right here? There's a band right there that is like a moonstone band. Oh, there it is. You can see it better on this side. Can you? Oh, there it is. Do you guys see? <gasps> Look at how pretty that is. What is this? What is this big ginormous thing? Oh, this is so pretty. What is this? Let me see real quick. If it test is anything. Again, this is a big ginormous thing. Okay, it goes all the way up to jadeite and sp spinel. But what? I don't think it... it's jadeite and spinel. So this is not black. It's purple. It's purple. And it goes all the way up to jadeite and spinel. Okay, I'm going to put this... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to split this. I'm going to put it in the lots. And I'm going to split this up. And you guys are going to... Um, when you price her, you should let me know. Okay, you know what? I'm going to put this up for um, $7.99 on District. It looks like the eclectic element wants it. Um, so make sure you guys are on our Lilyworks Jewels and Lots so that if you want some of these pieces that I said I'm listing for $7.99 and then I'm going to be doing $14.99, $14.99, and then two lot more lots of $14.99 so you guys can do some digging and yeah, I will see you guys for the <laughs> testing of these and the um, earrings. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have 59 in the chat. So go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. And if you're not already subscribed, of course, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Make sure you're subscribed to my Lilyworks Jewels and Lots channel. I actually have a lot of fun um, making videos over there. It is, you guys know, it's just so fun shopping <laughs> and thrifting. It's just a, a blast. So, um, yeah, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.